Hi there and welcome back to Pierpoint Custom Rod Building and Repair. Got a nice little number here for you. This rod's just come into the workshop and the customer wants a full strip down and rebuild. So for this specific video what I'm going to show you is some techniques of how to do it. My approach to stripping down a rod and then going through the different phases of a rebuild until we get the finished product. So just looking at this we've got the reel seat and it's in pretty bad condition. You know it's started to show signs of wear there and rust coming through. Tip section is a nice sort of purpley mauve colour. We've got the old original Fuji guides on there with the green inserts and the butt section has got the, the old style shrink tube on which is the slippery type and then someone's obviously tried to bulk it out a little bit there on the handle give a bit of extra grip and there we've got the, the decal showing that it's a Ziplex ZF250 it's a Powertex performance product and there may be for this butt section a slight reverse taper on it which obviously gives it the power when you're casting. I do believe that this particular model um, was worked on obviously by Terry Carroll but Neil McCallo I think was doing some test casting back in the day sadly they both passed away and um, Neil McCallo was the technical director for the Sea Angler magazine so obviously had a lot to do with testing rods he was a world record holder as well and so was Terry Carroll so what I try and do is measure out the rod first so I set myself up with a blank sheet of paper and the customer's requirements um, originally, you know, how they scope it, where they want the real seat, type of shrink tube, type of rod guides, type of thread, that sort of thing. So I've already scoped that. Can't tell you the angler's name, but we'll call him the, the unknown angler from Sussex. So that's who this rod belongs to. And I want to try and put it back to its former glory as best I can. Obviously the, the guides, he wants different ones on there. So these are the, the BNHGs. Uh, you still make them, you can still get them and back in the day they were probably the most popular a couple of tools you'll need just to start with is a couple of measuring devices you've got the standard builder's tape measure you've got a more flexible one and you've also got your, your calipers and you'll need those as you start to, to scope this out and prepare the rod so I like to get it up on the bench I like to see what I've got and uh, I suppose for want of a better description get in touch with the rod you know it's got some history behind it some anglers would have used this it would have been somebody's pride and joy it's probably been bought and sold a couple of times it's probably sat in a garage somewhere or in an attic or something and of course back in the day Terry Carroll was obviously designing Ziplex he was putting them together you know doing a lot of research and development and Neil McCallow the casting expert the world champion would have been taking those rods out and putting them through its paces and probably quite easily you know getting 150 200 yards without too much trouble okay so this is the the start of the project i'll try and show you as much as i can there might be some videos um different ones you know short ones long ones there might be some stopping and starting so apologies for that and also the volume and the microphone might be a little bit uh fading in and fading out but let's just see how we get on i'll try and talk you through the process and try and improve your technique of say rod building and that's what we're here for is to give you tips tools and techniques so that you can strip down your own rod or your friends or work for the local tackle shop and you're not going to make a huge amount of money out of it it's a you know it's a passion it's a love it's a joy and uh, we just give you a little bit more information to help you on your way so hopefully you find that useful but yeah lovely rod this got some history let's see how we get on with it I'm going to close the video off now but I'm going to now work on this little piece of paper and start sketching out the original design of the rod because uh, it's very important that you do that and then you can come back to things like the guide spacing, the size of the eyes, you know the guides and things like that, the length of this spigot wrap so that you can get as close to the original concept as possible. Okay, enjoy.